let's have a look at one of the many major benefits of using building information modeling. I have a simple design building here and I want to perform some SBEM or energy calculations on the building. And I want them to be 2006 Part L 2A compliant against UK and Northern Ireland regulations. I have a free add-on from a um, solutions partner IAS called Free SBEMs, which is Standard Energy uh, Rating Certificate Calculations. And I'm simply going to click on my Free SBEM check. Provided the building is modelled correctly from the floor slab up, and provided each room is told how it is heated, we can perform various uh, energy certifications on this. As you can see in here, I can select Part F Northern Ireland from the regulations at the top. I can decide on the type of use of the building, in this case it's an office, and I can then run my CO2 emissions Part F compliance, and it will be calculated from my model. Traditionally, you would have to do this from databases from flat CAD, and it would take a long time to work out. It's telling me that my this initial building did not pass the CO2 rating. In this case, I can view the compliance document, decide on what changes that I have to actually make to go back into part of my design to have a look at this. So in this case, you can see that the building the emissions from the building are less than or equal to the target. So the BER is greater than the TER. So I can go back and have a look at my various elements, maybe thermal properties of the wall, how the building is heated, and uh, review this. Other aspects in here, we can actually change the method of calculation. We might want to get an EPC, or Energy Performance Certificate, from the building. Again, complying with Part F, Northern Ireland regs, we're going to generate an EPC. This will give me the energy efficiency rating of the building. Again, another tool that if we were to calculate this from flat 2D CAD would take a considerably long time. Because we've modelled the building, it is much easier. So we can see our rating in here and we can view the EPC. So we can scroll down, enter a certificate and see that we're a B-rated building, which is quite good, and we've got a rating of 48. So we're just below C and we're in the B area. We could improve in this and we could have a look at various recommendations or we could actually have a look at a summary report. This is one of the many benefits of using Revit as a building information modelling tool.